Welcome to Electron Online and now we're going to take a look at our solar system in regard to the mass of the planets. And so again we're comparing this comparative planetology and uh, here are the four terrestrial planets and in comparison of course the gas planets, the Jovian planets are a lot larger. But notice the mass of the planets. Now I've, turned, I've written it down in terms of the mass of the Earth. So if the mass of the Earth equals one, how large are the other planets in terms of mass? Now remember that the mass of the Earth is about 6 times 10 to the 24th kilograms and compared to that Venus has a mass that's about 80 percent or 81 and a half percent the mass of the Earth. Notice that Mercury has a mass of about 5 and a half percent the mass of the Earth and Mars has the mass of roughly 10 percent the mass of the Earth which means if you were to put the Earth on a scale how many Marses would you have to have on the other side to balance it out? It would take about 10 times the mass of, of uh, Mars or 10 10 Marses in order to balance out one Earth and it would take almost 20 Mercuries to balance out the mass of the Earth. Now how does that compare to the Jovian planets? Now notice the mass of Jupiter is 317.8 times the mass of the Earth. That is enormous in size. Saturn is 95 times the mass of the Earth, Uranus 14 and a half and Neptune a little bit over 17. Combined to four uh, gas planets have a combined mass of, oh I shouldn't say AU, I'm thinking about astronomical units, that's not what I wanted to say. I wanted to say 444 times the mass of the Earth, that's what I wanted to say. And this is two times the mass of the Earth, that's a better way I'm thinking about astronomical units, that's not correct of course. So, but combined the mass of the four Jovian planets is 445 times the mass of the Earth as when you com uh, combine the mass of the four terrestrial planets you only have about two times the mass of the Earth. So you can see that the four gas planets combined have more than 200 times the mass of the four terrestrial planets. So the vast majority of the mass is way out there with the gas planets. Then if you compare Jupiter to the rest of the planets, if you take Jupiter by itself, Jupiter has about 2.5 times as much mass as the other seven combined. Matter of fact, if you also throw in all the comets and the asteroids and everything else, all the moons, Jupiter has more mass than all the other planets, all the moons, all the asteroids and all the comets combined. So Jupiter by far is the giant of planets in our solar system. Then if we take Saturn as a comparison, Saturn is about 2.8 times the other six. Now if we exclude Jupiter of course, Saturn is again much much bigger than all the other planets. So the other six combined you can see that Saturn also is one of the giant planets and much much larger than all the other planets combined, almost three times as big as the other six combined. So the mass really of our solar system is in Jupiter and Saturn, not so much Uranus and Neptune. And in comparison the four terrestrial planets are just kind of small little dwarf planets. Although we don't call those the dwarf planets, the dwarf planets are the trans-Neptunian objects that are way beyond Neptune out in the copper belt. And we'll talk about those a little bit later. But now you can see as far as the mass is concerned in the solar system the vast majority of the mass is way out there at very large distances away from the Sun. Only the terrestrial planets that have the heavy materials were left in the inner solar system and we'll learn more about why that is so. That had to do with how the Sun developed and how the solar wind blew the, all the light elements, the gas elements way out into the solar system leaving behind the heavy elements to coalesce into the terrestrial planets and so the mass distribution is such that most of the mass is far away from the Sun. Now if we look at other solar systems out there and we're beginning to learn a lot about other solar systems, what we find in our solar system is not necessarily the case in other solar systems as well and we'll go ahead and look at that in some, in some other videos in some other series but it's interesting because we used to think that whatever happened in our solar system if another solar system were to be found that we'd probably find the same conditions and that's not the case so we still have a lot to learn about mass distributions and how solar systems are formed throughout our Milky Way galaxy and that's how we do it.